Having companions in a Bethesda game is one of the great joys in life. Starfield is no different. Currently, there are four that are romanceable. Sarah, Barrett, Sam, and Andresia, all of which you will meet as you progress through the main Constellation questline. Below, we will cover how to cozy up to each of them. Each of these companions have their own unique character arc and mission, so if you would like to experience that for yourself, check the timestamps below. To start the process with any of the companions, it's going to require raising affinity with them. While affinity is not a number you can see in-game, you can see increases or decreases whenever a message appears stating your companion liked that. That message typically appears after a dialogue option with another character, although spending some time with your companion can increase affinity as well. While the best way to romance a companion is simply by playing the game, there are a couple things you can do overall to increase the speed of the process. On the social skill tree, if you get leadership to rank 1, companions will gain affinity 25% faster. In game, there is an aid option called Paramore that can increase how quickly you gain affinity temporarily. You can purchase it from the trade authority in the well on Jemison. Take the elevator by the waterfall down to the well. Stock is random, so you may need to wait nearby for 48 hours for the stock to refresh. It's a rare item, so sometimes you have to wait quite a bit. Alternatively though, you can craft it yourself if you have your chemistry skill at level 1. Go to a research lab and research performance enhancement 2, and then you can craft it for yourself at a pharmaceutical lab. I would recommend using Paramore before speech checks to get the most bang for your buck. Usually at mission ends with big discussions would be the best time. Or combine it with the next tip. If you're looking to gain some affinity quickly, hostage missions seem to work for all four companions. Use the mission board in Aquila City for the Freestar Rangers. Upon freeing the hostage, without asking for more of a reward, affinity will be gained with each companion. I spammed this with some of my companions and it does work, although it seems to go faster by simply playing the main missions with your companion of choice and making the right dialogue choice options. The Constellation questline was perfect for wooing Sarah, the UC quest was great for Barrett, the Freestar Collective questline was good to have Sam as a companion, and Andresia might be a good fit for the Crimson Fleet. On that note, I am curious which companion all of you chose first. Let me know in the comment section down below. And with that, Bachelorette edit number one, we have Sarah Morgan. She's a loaded pistol who likes pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. She's the leader of the constellation and is a little headstrong, but eventually will open up to you. You will meet her at the start of the main story questline for Constellation. To gain Sarah's affinity, she prefers responses that praise the work done by Constellation. In addition, she likes general inquisitiveness and support for exploration. Sarah does not like underhanded tactics such as devious deals and plots. However, at the end of the day, she does want to see justice served. In most cases, the flirt option should be used. However, use your discretion, as Sarah has actually told me it was inappropriate once. Oops. During Sarah's quest arc, there are at least four unique conversations you will have with her, where she will tell you about her past and how she needs some closure regarding some old comrades. This will begin the In Memorum quest. Once this mission starts, you won't be able to dismiss Sarah as your companion. The quest will begin in the Mass District on Jemison, where Sarah will want to speak with one of her old commanding officers. The rest of the mission proceeds on Cassiopa 1 in the Eta Cassiopa system, where you will find Sarah's old campsite. To access the ship, we need a power cell. There is one at the top of the ridge where Sarah set up a distress beacon years ago. Be careful for enemy creatures when you pick up the power cell. Bring it back to the ship and plug it in. Before leaving, be sure to pick up the Nova Galactic manual over on the floor. Proceed to the second shuttle location in your ship at a different landing site on the planet and continue looking for survivors. Eventually, you're going to find Sona. Stop. I'll shoot if I have to. Also in the hab with Sona is the Constellation guidebook, so be sure to grab that. To finish the mission, gather up the dog tags of Sarah's fallen comrades, including one in the belly of a creature that you're going to need to slay. Once done, you'll need to convince Sona to leave Cassiopa and return to the lodge with you and Sarah. After this is done, exit the hab and speak to Sarah while overlooking the bluffs and choose the flirt option. Return to the lodge and bring Sarah to the Colony War Memorial in the Embassy District. When prompted, again, choose the flirt option. Make your way to the New Atlantis docks and use the elevator near the shop to get to the waterfall promenade. There, Sarah will admit that she has feelings for you, and this opens up the friendship or romance responses. 
Bachelor number two is Barrett, a debonair scientist who loves cutting jokes. Barrett likes when you're essentially a good lawful player, avoiding stealing, pickpocketing, and other such acts of injustice. He seems not to mind breaking the rules quite as much as Sarah does, though. Whenever you talk to Barrett, each time his affinity grows, make sure to choose lighthearted dialogue options to further boost your affinity with him. The joke lines seem to work the best. He will dislike it if you ask about Urban too soon, his husband who died tragically, but eventually he will open up about him as he slowly likes you more. Basically, you can choose the flirt option whenever it shows up during dialogue with him and keep doubling down on whatever joke he pulls off to boost his affinity. As Barrett warms up to you, he will eventually want to talk about Urban more and ask you to help fund an investigation into Urban's death some years ago. You'll need to keep a few thousand credits on hand when asked to help fund the investigation. Agree to help him. This is essential if you want to keep him as a romance candidate in the game and unlock Breach of Contract, his side quest. This quest will see you go to Gagarin to meet with a lawyer named Ellie to help clear Irvin's name. Unfortunately, you're missing some crucial evidence that you and Barrett will need to collect. Start with Irvin's old apartment across town, then Town Hall, and finally a mine where Irvin was previously employed. The game offers you the option to present your evidence sooner than you found it all. I was worried this could possibly mess up the quest line, so I gathered all of the evidence before I brought it to Ellie the lawyer. After getting all of the evidence, Ellie agrees to try the case. The final piece of the quest is to have a character witness support the case, a Dr. Helgi. Here you'll need to pass a persuasion attempt, so it might be a good idea to drop a quick save before attempting. Should you find all of the evidence and assign Dr. Helgi as the character witness, Barrett will speak to you and be overjoyed with the progress you've made on clearing Irvin's name. During this conversation, he will then present an opportunity for you to choose romance or friendship. Bachelor number three, Sam Coe, a space cowboy who loves his daughter Cora and has daddy issues. If you're looking to romance Sam, you will need to appeal to his love of parenthood, justice, and the mutual dislike of his ex-wife. Sam really loves his daughter Cora, so anything positive about her or parenthood is a winner. He does, however, hate his family name and its legacy, so avoid dealing with that. Generally, Sam likes when you defuse a situation without violence, although he doesn't mind it sometimes. Like mentioned earlier, you can use the Freestar mission board to gain affinity with Sam. Rescuing hostages and killing bad guys will garner you likes, and I found Sam one of the easier companions to gain affinity with. Once it's high enough, Sam will tell you that Cora has something urgent to speak about with the both of you. Bring Sam to Cora, and she will tell you that her mother, Lillian Hart, is in some type of danger, and the two of you need to head to Neon to check on her. This will start the Matters of the Heart quest. Once this mission starts, you won't be able to dismiss Sam as your companion, so quickly head out to Neon. Go to the Freestar Rangers headquarter and speak with Jalen Price, who will tell you that Lillian hasn't been seen in a while, but was working on a big case. Search her desk for clues. There, you will be tasked with tracking down her informant. In the apartment, you will find one very dead informant and a data pad on the ground that reveals that Lillian is undercover with the Syndicate on McClure 2. Once you land, Sam will contact Lillian, confirming that she is there and she needs help getting out. Rush the compound and take out the Syndicate members before heading inside the marked building. Fight through all of the baddies before meeting with Lillian. Once it's cleared out and you speak with her, she will ask you to help finish her mission. This involves getting the coordinates of a cache and using it to lure out a syndicate boss. Head to Rasselhog 2, where you will find the Dumas freighter, which you need to destroy and then loot to obtain the information. The cache is located on NGMS 3, just a short walk from the landing spot. Once you approach the marker, enemy ships will begin touching down around you, dropping off hordes of enemies. After clearing the bad guys out, you will need to speak with Lillian, which will prompt her and Sam to hash out their issues. With you, right in the middle of it, not awkward at all. If anyone's gonna make this awkward, it's not gonna be you. Once that's complete, Sam will invite you to a place in Aquila City to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. This is your opportunity to make it clear to Sam that you want to be in a romantic relationship or simply pursue a friendship. Bachelor edit number four is Andresia. She'll be the last of the four you will meet in a mission called Into the Unknown. Andresia is a little different from the other companions and has lived a rough life. She does not shy away from underhanded tactics and, in fact, will relish brute force and intimidation. Of course, mindlessly killing innocents will still land you on her bad side. 
always picking the flirt option when it appears worked for me. Like the above, you can expect four unique conversations as her infinity for you increases. After the fourth segment, she tells you about her checkered past and about some of her former friends who she would like to know what happened to. The first of which is Aaron, who you will need to look for at Aggie's Bar in Aquila City. After a spirited discussion, Aggie will point you to Hyla 2 in the Hyla system, where you will find Aaron's camp. There are some enemy zealots in the area that you will need to dispatch. On the second floor, you'll find Aaron's Slate, along with the Varun Scripture 4. It increases your sneak bonus and melee sneak attack damage, so be sure to pick that up. Make your way to the Wolf System, dock with the space station, and ask about Jada. The bartender gave me the information I needed to know with a little bit of credits. He will point you to a planet called Anomaly in the Groombridge system. Upon arriving over the skies of Anomaly, a ship called the Raptor will hail you. Tell Jadith that Andreja is trying to make up for what happened and board the ship. Enter the cockpit and you'll see Jada pointing a gun at both of you. You can use the negotiation option or other responses to calm her down. Afterwards, you'll go to Mufford 4 in the Mufford system. Andresia will trigger a switch that reveals a hidden passageway. At the end of the corridor, you'll meet Tamasar, Andresia's former associate. Andresia wants to kill Tamasar, but you can convince her not to. After all these tasks, Andresia will want to return to her room in the lodge. Thank you for coming back here with me. Have a chat with her where you can choose a romantic or friendship option. Worth noting, Andresia will not share you. If you are already in a committed relationship, as I was here with Sarah, she won't have any part of that. If you are looking for some unique weapons or spacesuits to wear to your star-filled wedding, check out one of these two videos. And if you found this guide to be helpful, do me a favor and hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future star-filled content. This is Durka signing off. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.